A lot of people will tell you the state of our union is no laughing matter, but it's a great time to be a comedian. Here to discuss John Fugel saying as a comedian for Sirius XM Radio and the Sirius XM Radio host, and Dino Badala, the host of the Dino Badala Show on Sirius XM. Are you guys comedians? We are. allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so President Trump has had a gold mine, has been a gold mine for late night comedians. Let's take a listen to this. If you're waking up from a coma, Bad timing, first of all. Uh, Donald Trump has been sworn in as President of the United States. Talked about his election victory at an event for Black History Month. In fact, did you guys know Frederick Douglass voted for me? <laughs> Very like, great guy. Are we going to have to eliminate another civil liberty every time the President is cranky and won't go down for his nap? Oh, don't cry, little Donnie. Here, look. It's the keys to the private prisons where we're going to lock up all the undocumented immigrants. First of all, you're all fake news. I hate you all very much, and thank you for being here. First question, no. Next. But, Mr. President, no one has even asked a Doesn't question matter. yet. No. Next. I don't know why he decided to have an unscheduled press conference today. My guess is that he did it because he was mad, and he just wanted to blow off some steam. The tone of the press conference was like if your dad found out a pack of cigarettes under your mattress. It was, he was mad. He talked for an hour and 17 minutes, which is more than he's spoken to Melania all this year, the whole year. <laughs> I love that Kimmel guy. So listen, is Dean, yes. do you think that uh, late night is edgier and harder now, or is it funnier? Is it easy? I, was, I spoke to uh, Kamal Bell, and he said, it's kind of easy being a comedian now, because all you have to do is make fun of Donald Trump. It is, on some level, it is, and the appetite of the American audience is to see political humor. Look at Colbert as now, the last five weeks, beating Jimmy Fallon in the ratings. That was unthought of before this election. Because Colbert is going after, after Trump, people want to laugh. They want the cathartic stuff. A and Trump gives us material. Yes, I mean, the guy said Obama bugged his office. Next up, like, Obama shot Tupac. Or Obama put the, uh, the Warren, gave Warren Brady the envelope Biggie, of the Oscars. Biggie's anniversary. So, well, Tupac you know, and yeah. Biggie. But the point is, yes, he gives material, but there is a fear factor in communities of color, Muslim community, LGBT community, of Trump. So it's, we weigh both of that. We're using humor to be cathartic and empowering. Them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the audience is there for it, right? If the audience wasn't watching it, they would change their humor right away. Donald Trump's in very good for comedy. I'm raising a four-year-old in Manhattan, and Donald Trump helped pay for my kid's preschool. I owe that man a lot. Uh, you know, who voted against their own self-interest more last year, non-millionaires who voted for Trump or comedians who voted against Trump. I mean, I really care about my country because this guy's great. And it's the whole cabinet as well. Sean Spicer is good for comedy. I mean, Nixon was sinister but not ignorant, and George W. Bush was kind of ignorant but not hateful. This guy is the entire package. What's interesting to me, uh, if you look at um, Fallon and Colbert, when Fallon sort of, people thought he humanized Donald Trump by playing with his hair, and immediately his ratings, ratings started going down, right? I don't know if that's scientific or not, but they After did. the inauguration. After yeah. the inauguration. Yeah. And then now, you know, and it, Colbert has been hitting him hard every night. He's beaten, uh, beaten him for five two weeks. weeks. Five, five weeks in a row five weeks. on the overall ratings. It, it, it is. I mean, it's a different type of comedy. People are, are hungry for it. If you're concerned about Trump, laughing is great. It's empowering. It's cathartic. And I think Jimmy Fallon, they just talked about this week that they're going to change, revamp the show. I work with Jimmy at Center Live. Objectively, one of the most talented guys you'll ever meet. I think they'll find the right footing. But when he messed up Trump's hair and played around with him in the fall, Trump wins. I think some people held that against Jimmy fairly or unfairly. I think they have. And I think there is a danger of, you know, the airwaves and the comedy clubs being oversaturated with bad Trump material. Donald right. Trump has sort of become airport jokes now. Like, you feel like everyone does their material on it. But I like airport jokes if a comedian has something original to bring to the table. If, if you're just doing orange spray tanned fascist jokes, it'll get boring early. If you've actually got a point of view and you're making something happen with your yeah. jokes, then we'll lean in. The first rule of comedy is... It has to be funny. Well, no, be funny. And, and with political comedy, it has to attack up. It has I to mean, attack, yeah. It's, and, why, it's yeah. why it's a good time for progressive comedy. And get comedy. paid in advance is the other one. Let's talk about, I mean, Melissa exactly. McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy, I mean, she has been brilliant playing right. Sean uh, Spicer on, on SNL. Uh, and Sean Spicer even joked about it in, you know, in, in the press conference today, in his press briefing today. Mm -hmm. Let's watch this. What I understand is that that rule was instituted uh, to deal with, with market fluctuations. I could be wrong, but I believe that's why it was instituted. I think tweeting out great way to start a Friday. Here are the actual numbers that you all have reported. Um, is a bit silly. I mean, don't make me make the podium move. Um, <laughs> I, 
Yeah, was, is she in his head? Well, you said I mean, you're well, going well, this is Well, this is, this is Sean humanizing himself. I mean, Sean Spicer, I, 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 it's strange. I feel bad for him, yet I don't. He sort of looks like the before picture in a Xanax ad. Um, he's the gerbil gerbils. And, uh, you know, he's actually gotten better at his job. He's, he's wearing fitted suits. He's smiling more. He's clearly been coached. And he's relaxing into his job of lying all the time. Yeah. So he's, he's doing better. When I look at him, all I can think of is Melissa McCarthy. That's the problem right now. I mean, they've become a change. But he's, there's a whole reel on YouTube of his, his, his mistakes, his, the things he could not say properly. It's very funny. But, again, I have no sympathy for him either. Let's yeah. watch some of those press conferences and we'll talk more about sure. it. For all of the people who have concerns about this, especially on, on the right, look at the size. This is the Democrats. This is us. There is, I mean, th you can't get any clearer in terms of this is government, this is not. Well, I, I answered this question yesterday on camera, on your air. So just so we're clear, uh, I know this is now will be twice. I'm not aware. I don't believe. Um, look up in a thesaurus and find some other ways. But I, I don't know that there's uh, a distinction there. Well, I think there's contribution. I think he wants to highlight the contributions that he has made. And I think through a lot of the actions and, and, and statements that he's going to make, I think the contributions of Frederick Douglass will become more and more. <laughs> I, I would ask you guys why this is such great fodder for comedy, but it's obvious. And it he's giving Melissa McCarthy material by holding up props. Don't, every don't, day. don't help her, it's Sean. Surreal. When he has the Skype interviews, he's the first press secretary to ever try phone a friend. I mean, he's just giving them material all the time. And it's hurting him. I, I think for Halloween, I'm going to go as the screaming guy from the Edward Munch painting <laughs> and tell people I'm going as Sean Spicer's conscience. It, <laughs> It, 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 it's a lot of material for a lot of comedians. When you do that press conference there with the bills, one's bigger than the other, you're going to probably see that on SNL this week. This week, he gave it to and her. It's a prop material. And it's a hard job. I mean, don't forget Stephanopoulos, his first year, grew a beard because he was breaking out in hives. I mean, Spicer's getting better at his job, but he's still making it very easy for the satirists. Yeah. He's got a tough boss. Thank you, gentlemen.